Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker is a fuel of shipping ocean travels. The game is full of mazes and high extreme quality, like a ticket boo fucking you over. The game is magical. The Duke of Shrooms are back. The many other characters glimpse around the Great Fairy's Sea, or on Maya's way. Hyrule's Destiny? Waterland? And if you participate in the puzzles, they are ball breaking difficult. And you can get pissed like a suck in your dick with a hush jar. The game has many sudden bosses to throw you off and beyond more passionate ones to make you fling around a subsection. The Ganon is back. He can bump you around his big balls guardian, the feathering pigeon, can throw a freaking punch. Many other secrets in appearance too. Hard containers are displayed with a high stack of fences as you collect the other materials as you try to figure out who's Princess Zelda and who's his dark imagery. The story takes you off as Link, a sturdy young boy, finding a Paul Austic sister captured by the big beastie pigeon I was talking about earlier. You set out and sell to on a you set out and you sell on a red boat. There are six dungeons, the vast of the world is huge. Will take you many, many hours to complete everything. The financial of living I might say with a juridical process. The Alphonse journey is epicness and has battering features that grow your sky head over a pillar of pumpkin juice. A very great adventure indeed. The pirates, the squids of hectic madness, this game has it all. If you like sea creature with demented box double If you like wall hitting spikes of traps, this game's for you. And finally, if you like being the shit out of the fighter boss with a new twist, if you're a Zelda fan, this game's for you. The graphics are cartoonish. Who gives a malicious attempted fuck? Hooray for cartoonish Diddy Six! The game is com the game is commented promotional piece of a great discovery in worldwide cartoonish world on the GameCube. What can be better? Many hours of fun, many hours of hard secrets of fun! Many shit beating the enemies prod prices. The game is a glass eyesight for many gamers that want some good challenge, but with blinking fun entertainment. This game gets a 10 slash 10. The game is possibly one of the best Zelda masterpieces of all time. Yes, with a glimpse of a radical storyline. And just like the guy teaming up with Tomb Skywalker, that family guy I don't give a shit about. So what are you waiting for? Check this back bomb of Zelda timeline out now, before we sell with boredom.